calling all Wix e-commerce experts and users out there. You asked and Wix answered. Interesting, kind of like a little pun. Seamless plug for Wix answers. Go check that out. Anyway, guys, so in today's video, we've got another episode of Get the Dish, the inside scoop with your man, Michael Strauch, and we are going to discuss Wix's very new release to the e-commerce platform to Wix stores, and it's a members area. So Wix has just released a members area where members can access their previous orders, and they could go in there and have their account, and it's awesome. All of you, all of you that use the Wix e-commerce or Wix, you know, Wix stores app have been asking for this feature and it's been heavily asked. In fact, Wix even said it was one of the most requested features they had. So let's take a peek at exactly how we can implement this into your Wix e-commerce store. Before we do so, to learn a little bit more about myself, I highly recommend you go check out weeklywixwednesday.com where I send out a weekly uh, email, tip, trick, or tutorial every Wednesday. Go check that out. So guys, we're in the editor here on the Robert and Allen new theme designed by those awesome Wix designers for those themes that Wix provides us absolutely free. And to actually go ahead and add our new members area, we one, have to make sure we have an online store and using the Wix stores platform uh, application, also known as and once we have the Wix stores application on there, which if you're already you know running an online store, you likely have this presently. But if you don't, go ahead and add the Wix stores platform by going down here. Uh, you can go to add or go to the add apps and type in Wix store. And then you can simply click Wix stores. And then in my case, it says open app, but you would click add to site. I already have it. Now, to add this very new, very exciting feature, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to this little add button, and we're going to scroll down to members. And on this, you'll see this new add a members area, give each member a private account, create a member page instantly, let members sign up and log in and improve and manage members. So let's add it to the site and see what we've got. Okay, it's welcome, 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 I can't talk. We're being introduced to the members area here. It's creating, it's working, it's magic. It's creating connections, linking everything. We're about to get started and bam, we are started just like that. We have our members area that is now linked to our Wix stores that allows us to track our order history and our account information. Guys, in here we have the ability to check out and see we can update our account info. We get out our first name, last name, contact. If we come in here, we see a profile card, a member's bar, and then this is the section where it says my orders, my account. Well, let's first start with the member profile card. If we click settings right here, we'll see the settings for this member profile card. You can customize the layout by clicking customize. You can choose whether the picture is square or circle, and then you could choose the design right here. And here you could come in here, Customize the member name, the colors, the font, um, and same with the background and the borders for the actual box or card itself. And then you can set your, your language, default language, right there for your member's card. Next, we have our Manage My Orders and My Account. If you click Manage Menu, these are separate pages in the actual members area. In this case, if you make a purchase while you're signed in, when you log in to which stores to actually make a purchase or uh, purchase a service, it will now show up and populate in this section. You can see right here, it says you haven't placed any orders yet, go shopping. Well, if we click preview, and we click go shopping, it'll take us straight to, we have to program it, but it would take us straight to the online store. So if we go back, and then we go back and we go to, well, this is from a different video. We go back here and we go to my orders. We can see that we need to change the settings here. And we want to customize the design. You can choose how the orders are laid out. So when you actually do have orders that populate in here, you can choose, you know, the title of them, the color, the font, 
the opacity, all those good Wix design tools that you have. And then you can also choose those order details, again, how it looks, the color of the dividers, uh, the style of the buttons, the totals, the text, the font, everything in here. And you can even reset it to the original design that it came in if you decided to customize it. And then you have your text right here and you can choose what this page title is, the subtitle, and if you haven't placed any orders yet, you can choose, you haven't placed any orders yet, link text, go shopping. And this is where you link your online store. So if you're saying go shopping, you'd come in here and click linked and you just choose the page that your online store correlates to so that way it goes straight back to which stores. So that's how you manage this My Orders page. Now if we go back up here, we also have a My Account page. So if we come onto this page and we click our settings, we're going to see some interesting information. Once again, we have the ability to customize. So we could come in here and choose what fields are listed. So in this case, default fields are first name, last name, and then we also have the option to make visible contact email, phone, and you can add address as well. So if you've already preloaded your address, this can be in here. However, if you haven't preloaded your address, you can simply come in here, put your address, one, two, three, somewhere lane, and then you could add your city, St. Charles, and then my zip, 63301, country, we'll scroll down the list, I live in the awesome United States of America, and click update info, and then just like that, our information is now updated. Simple as that. Your address is added. So now your account info has your login email, your first name, last name, contact email. You could add your phone number as well and your address. So with that being said, we now have a members area that can track your recent orders, your purchase history, and you also can view account details. And guys, I almost completely forgot to show you this part. Yes, I definitely did finish uploading or finish uh, recording my video and then realized that I forgot to go back and add this important part because to actually access those members area pages for your user to access it from different pages within your website, you actually have a little social login bar. So to configure this, you would click set up login bar. And then you can see right here, login bar settings. So what does the login bar show? Does it show your profile pic and the member name? Does it show just the profile pic? Or does it show the member's name only? Well, that's up to you for you to decide. And that can be listed up in your header so that way anywhere on the website, your user can go to that and they can figure out exactly what their purchase history was and they can access my order. So um, if we click preview you can see we click on this you could go straight to my orders or my account and then you can easily and conveniently log out as well so that is awesome if we open it back up though set up login bar we can also see what does the bar say right before login in this case login and you could show the greeting before the name and then what's the logout message in this case log out and then your member sign up settings you can choose how you accept members onto this Likely for your online store platform, it's going to be everyone and then which option show, shows first. This is completely up to you, whether that's an existing member login or a new member sign up. Completely your choice. You could also have a social and community login for Google and Facebook. And you could also show a terms of use and a privacy policy if you decided to use that route as well. So let's continue on in the video and get right back on track. So why is this helpful, you may ask? What, what value does this bring? Well, before, people that went into the Wix Stores application didn't have a profile. They didn't have an order history. They would have to go into Wix Stores each time and say they wanted to repurchase something they bought. Maybe they wanted to reorder it or uh, buy something similar to it. Well, they would have to go back in and search the store and they didn't have any record of what they were buying. Neither did the store owner. The Wix store owner didn't have a record of what that person was buying. So we now minimize that and actually create a step to where the user has their own profile member page where they have their purchase history 
And I can tell you that a couple things coming down the line are exciting Wix wallet, the online store wallet, and um, a, a couple different features within Wix stores. Wix stores is one of the big highlights of one of the now, and there's a lot of exciting features rolling out with that. So this is something you need to stay tuned with and staying right here on Get the Dish, this episode with the Wix Community Channel, the Inside Scoop with myself, Michael Strauch, is the best way for you to stay informed to do so because I will be bringing you all of the new betas and different tests and different features that Wix releases with a nice little tutorial and a little explanation about what this new feature or beta offers. Guys, if this video helped you out, drop us a like down below for this awesome Wix community. Comment if you have any questions at all. I know all of us on this community channel will be reading through comments, answering, trying to help you as best as we can. And don't forget to subscribe because this is the Wix community channel where we make things happen. Once again, guys, you asked for it and Wix answered. We finally have a members area that connects to Wix stores. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next episode of Get the Dish, your inside scoop with Michael Strout. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you on the next one.